I am Michelangelo Pistoletto, artist. I am Italian, and I am presenting my show here in Venice that is called One and One Makes Three. Art is, is uh, uh, what is uh, distinguish the human being from an animal. Uh, the capacity of invention, uh, the capacity of making invention, of uh, uh, creating, uh, organizing society, thinking, elaborating, uh, and taking responsibility. In the modern art, we reach a point that is basic, at the point of the maximum of freedom. The artist is free to make any sign, any expression. But more you're free, more you're responsible. Because the freedom by itself, without responsibility, is evaporating, it doesn't mean anything. So we, we, we are today more and more responsible because we are more and more creative. Humanity is creating, is creating science, technology. Uh, so uh, we are uh, free to create, but we become more and more responsible. For example, of the rapport between uh, science, technology, and the nature. So we have to create relations. Art can create all this kind of relation. Uh, that responsibility of connecting uh, technology and the nature, for example. I think that the, the mirror is, uh, is, is the direct metaphor of life. Uh, uh, you have to, uh, to interpret the mirror not only because uh, you uh, project in the mirror what is, what is your, your feeling, your desire, or your opinion, but you have to uh, look in the mirror what is, in, is the reality. And the metaphor of, of the reality through the mirror will uh, be expressed in this way, uh, that uh, nothing is absolute, everything is relative. Nothing is there forever. Uh, uh, there is not only one way to be. Each moment is different. What you see in the mirror is there just for an instant, for one minute. Eh? The image can, that you have in the mirror uh, was not there before and will not be there after. It will be there only for one instant. Eh? It's, uh, everything is changing. Everything is connecting. And we, you have to know that the life is that. It's not something pre-decided. It is something that is always elaborated. And for example, for me, the concept of difference is very important because each moment is different. Each, each event in the mirror is always different. So the difference is, is the base of the, of the social life. It is why I make love difference. Uh, uh, the expression of love difference come from the fact that nothing is there forever and uh, nothing is unique. In, in my uh, activity from the beginning, I was looking for uh, my identity. And uh, the only way to reach that identity, it, it was working on the self-portrait. And in order to make a self-portrait, you need a mirror and, and uh, the mirror became uh, really part of the work itself. But the mirror, it doesn't have any vision by itself. It represents only the vision coming from the reality. And the mirror and the reality, they are confronted in my work. And if I want to know better the reality, I have to look the reality through the mirror. It's a continuous confrontation between uh, the self, the body, and the vision of the body itself. But not only the body, but the life, the, the construction of the life, the politic of the life. And so uh, we, I think that today we are at the point that we are all in front of the mirror. Everybody has to look into the mirror and say who I am, what I have to do, and, and, 
uh, and the mirror will, will say to you, you have to judge yourself what to do, not waiting somebody tell you what to do. You are, respons you are now responsible of what we, you will do. And this is not only as a person, but you are responsible as part of a religion, part of a political system. We are part of society. And uh, also the, the, the social system become responsible and are today in front of the mirror. That means in front of itself or herself. Everybody is in front of this judgment. You have to judge yourself and there is nobody outside judging you. You know, there is, there is the, the idea that uh, uh, one day we will arrive to a point when uh, God will judge you. God is yourself. You have to decide yourself your, your way to be, your way to move. Uh, it's, the, it's, it, we live today in a moment of a result of a long history, the point that we can have a new history, but in order to have the new history, we have to judge what we have done until now and to recreate a new vision. But it's ourselves the, the possibility and necessity to create new vision, new path, new perspective. But all, everybody should little by little be engaged on that transformation. I was teaching in Vienna for 10 years at the academy, and uh, I said to the student, uh, the, the space in the museums, in the collections, is very small. But here you are so many. And I, I think everybody of you should have success in the life. And uh, probably few of you will be in the museum, but the society, the entire society, need all of you because you have the capacity of creating or producing something that society needs, not only the museum and the, the conceptual uh, vision of, of, the, of the art, but also the practical activity that art can produce in the society. And the, and the society need the artist as the guide for the transformation. I, am, I have nothing really to teach. I have just to stimulate, after my experience, to stimulate the, the, the people that uh, want to interpret the, the, the world of artists, stimulate the, the, the young people that want to become artists, uh, to, to discover the possibility of uh, create. Creating means doing something that didn't exist before. And my method is through this uh, three circle to show that if you put two things together in a good way, you produce a third thing that didn't exist before. Uh, that is the creation, because if it existed before, it would not be a creation. So with this system, you can applicate it to, to, to everything and, and uh, uh, making the people only, you can applicate that concept in anything and make the people that are not on, only artists, but also normal people that can use the capacity of creating. And if you want to change the society, you have to employ yourself as a normal people, not only as an artist. Well, there is a process uh, that comes from your traditional work, from uh, the elaboration that you can create in the moment using the, the past work, uh, with, but always with the idea of producing something that has never been done. And this is the process. Uh, there is a continuum of elaboration. Never, never, never we stop to elaborate this process between the before, now, and the, and the, and the process of the future.
We are in a moment today uh, of the transformation, total transformation of what is nature in artifact. For example, we, we see Apple, the, the, the computer, where you have the apple, that is uh, um, the bit of the apple, has transformed totally the apple from natural ap apple, from natural apple to artificial apple. So we have totally eaten the apple. We don't have a any nature anymore. Now it's time to recreate a rapport with the, the nature through a new form of science and technology that is creating the balance between evolutional technology and traditional existence of the, the planet, like Earth. Fine art, fine art, it can be uh, anything you want. It's, it's the freedom, as I told before. But uh, more you enter in the responsibility, you transform the freedom in responsibility. You don't take responsibility only for your product, but for the connection with your product and the situation of the general life. So the transformation of the society, it is something that you have to do with the others. You cannot do by yourself. So it's a, it's a work of connection, interaction, elaboration, and also encounter with the people.